hello guys welcome to another tutorial in inkscape in this lesson we will be talking about the eraser tool its uses and functions so let's get started you can find the eraser tool at the left side of your toolbar just here you can see the name erase object or part and the shortcut is shift e so you can either click the eraser tool here to select it or you click on shift and E on your keyboard to select it. Once the eraser tool is selected, you see a whole lot of settings that you are you can do with the eraser tool, which we'll be talking about. So first of all, let's insert some shape into our document so we can begin talking about the settings. So I'll just draw a square here, and I also select my ellipse tool and draw an ellipse. Let me give this a different color. So once I select my eraser tool again, or I use the shift E on my keyboard, it will activate the tool. So shift E, this is my eraser tool. So from the top menu bar, you will see the different settings right here. The first one says mode. Mode adjust the different mode you can use the eraser tool in with. The first mode here says delete object touched by eraser. So once this mode is selected, any object it the eraser touch it will just delete it so let me select my eraser tool once i just click over this um rectangle it will just delete so because that is the mode i select it on and note that once you have a shape selected for instance i use my selection tool to select this ellipse and i activate my eraser tool i am trying to use the eraser tool on this rectangle you will see that nothing is happening because once you have a shape a shape or an object or even a part selected the eraser tool you activated can only work on it so when i click on the ellipse you will see that it has delete so we will go over to the next mode which is cut out from parts this second mode works exactly how you would want a normal eraser to work it just erases everything in its parts so for instance if i want to erase some parts in this my square shape i just need to use the eraser tool under the second mode which is cut out from parts and shape so when i just click and drag you will see that it will erase everything along that part on the shape so the same thing with the first mode if you have another shape so if i duplicate this and give it another color okay so and i want to erase this blue one but this red one is selected the same thing would happen if i have my eraser to selected and i try erasing on the blue while the red is selected you see that there won't be any changes going on on the blue because i have the red selected so anyone that I select is the only one i can be able to erase Another thing to note is that if you want to get a smooth straight line when you are erasing, it's advisable to move your mouse really fast so you can get a smooth straight line. So for instance, I want to erase um, this square or rectangle diagonally but I want the line to be smooth so I will, I will kind of like move really fast with my line so that I can get a smooth line. So you will see what happens if I kind of move slowly. So let me move slowly, you can see that the eraser tool is like distorting making the, the line to look jagged and you can see from the outcome that it is not very smooth just as this first one i did so if you want a smooth erase you should just move it really fast and you will get a smooth erase so let's head over to the next one the next mode here is clip from objects this third mode is basically the same with the second mode it does exactly what the second mode does it's just that it creates a clipping mask that is it's hiding the cut out parts not erasing them so for you to really know that it is not really erasing them is when you export it as an svg file and open it in other software like figma you see that what you actually erase didn't actually erase it just made a cutout part so if i click on the mode that is the cut from object clip from object sorry and i use it you can see that it's really doing the same thing that the second mode is doing the only time you will notice the changes is when you export as a svg or a vector file and you open it in another software only to discover that 
what you actually erased is not there so for instance if i export this as a svg file and i open it in another software this line that i just erased there will no longer be there it will appear as a complete square or rectangle in the software which i open it so if that is not what you want the second mode is the most advisable one to use now the next setting here we have is the width I say that the width is set to 15 the width is just basically how big your eraser point is so if i drag you can see this is 15 width so if i want it to be bigger i can click on this plus icon to make it bigger so we have 60 now you can see that this 60 is actually more bigger than the 15 that you had here and the reason why it's getting this jagged line like i said earlier is because i'm moving my cursor slow once you're moving your cursor slow the consistency on the line will just change and it will be distorted so if you want a smooth straight erase it's advisable to move really fast just like this and you will get a smooth straight line also you can reduce the width to down to let's say five or even two to make a very small line so if you if what you are erasing is very tiny and you want to match the size you can adjust the width from here also and this little icon behind it is used if you have a um, graphics tab just like the one on your screen now you can click this to activate it on so that the pressure sensitivity from the pen of the graphics tab would be recorded so it it means that how much pressure you apply on the pen will be equal to the width that the eraser would be showing here but since we are not using the graphic tab we are using by our mouse so this doesn't need to be on so the next setting here we have is thinning and from the note here you can see that it says how much velocity thins the stroke and in bracket it says that greater than zero thinning setting will make fast stroke thinner that is if you move very fast the stroke of your eraser will be thinner and less than zero makes them broader so if it's less than zero they will be more wider just as if you are increasing the width and zero makes width independent of velocity so the width will be independent of the velocity so what this basically means is that if you increase this thinning setting here the faster you draw with your eraser to the the wider the thinner sorry the thinner your stroke would be so let's increase this to maybe let's say 50 just for reference let me reduce it back to zero so we can know what we refer to so now this is the um eraser tool at zero thinning if i click and drag with speed you can see that it maintained the same width which is 35 so if i increase this my thinning to 50 what it's supposed to do is that it's and the faster i go the thinner it will make my stroke to be so let me draw faster now so you can see let me move let me zoom in so you can see that well so if i draw faster you can see that my stroke is now very thin let me do that again so you can see this is my stroke now it is very thin because my thinning is set to 50 i can see that it started becoming thick but the faster i go the thinner it gets so that's the velocity so i can also reduce this down to a negative sign let me say minus 20 So once it's reduced to a negative sign, it's supposed to increase the faster I go. So let me draw fast. So you can see it started a little bit thin and as it's going, it's increasing in width. So that's the setting of the thinning. So let's reduce this back to zero. I don't need the, uh, the width to be increasing based on the speed. So I will leave my thinning setting at zero. So this next setting here is the caps and it says for me that it increase to make caps at the ends of stroke for two more that is zero equals to no caps one equals to round caps and so on so let me demonstrate that now so we can see that our caps is set at 2.5 the caps is definitely the edges how curved is the end of your eraser tool so let me just make a line with my eraser tool there you can see that the end of this my eraser tool is a little bit curved because it is 2.50 that is the middle 
of the curve let me increase it to the highest which is five and let's make the same line again so you can see it has become more curved almost getting sharp because i have with i have increased the curves to the highest which is 5.0 so let me reduce it to the lowest also so you will see the difference so i reduce the curve down to zero now i'll actually just increase zero for my keyboard so now i have zero curve setting so let me make the same line so you can see it is not curved at all it's just in like a line so with this setting you can change your eraser tool from almost looking like a sphere to looking like a square so if you don't want to be erasing with the curves increase that is giving a kind of a sphere shape you can reduce your curve to zero and you'll be getting a square like shape to to make erase with so if i increase the width also you can see it will be more like a square now so that is other software do have a way to change your eraser shape to different uh, shapes but in Inkscape, unfortunately we don't have that so one way to manipulate to get another shape is by tweaking all the settings so you can see from reducing the curves you can get a square like eraser shape that you can use in your design so the next setting here we have is thermal and we see that thermal will increase to make stroke rugged and trembling i like to call it distorting so increasing the thermal will definitely distort your eraser tool shape so you have a more distorted line so for this i will draw another shape let me draw a circle here now so let me give this a different color Let me zoom in a bit so i will select my eraser tool or shift e on my keyboard that is for the shortcut so if i increase the term more let me first of all okay the highest is 100 let's start from the middle about 50 yeah 42 so if i draw here you can see the line is kind of distorted okay our width is a bit too high 73 let's reduce our width to maybe 20 so we can really see the distortion so our width is at 20 now and our tremor is set to 42 so if i drag you can see that the lines are kind of distorted even though i move fast you can see that they are distorted so i think this distortion is really still low let's increase it a bit from 42 let's say from 70 yeah 71 so you can see the distortion and one thing i've noticed with the eraser too is that as you draw and they touch each other it kind of like make a distortion around where they meet especially when you increase your thinning so that's that to note let's also let's reduce the width further okay let's select the middle mode. all right and let's let us increase the tremor to the highest which is 100 so let me kind of erase in the shape you can see that it's distorted it's not really giving a straight line it's just making a random shape so this would be cool to like make a random shape effect if that is what you are really into but yeah that's what the term really does by the time i'm sharing my five tips or my five application of the eraser tool i will definitely demonstrate one using the tremor setting so we we'll go over to the last setting here so a second to the last which is mass mass increase to make the eraser drag behind as if slowed by inertia okay so what this basically means is that it's just setting how heavy you want the eraser to be so if you increase the the, the mass and you're trying to draw with the eraser to it will feel heavy because it will be lagging as you are drawing so our mass is set to zero with that that's why when we draw we can see that we can really move freely and just make erases freely but when i increase the mass it will try to give you the impression that the eraser has become more heavy therefore making the rate at which you erase or the speed at which you erase to be much more slower so let's um let me draw let me just insert a rectangle here and let me delete this also this so 
So let me uh, select my eraser tool again and let's increase the mass. So the more you increase, the more heavy it will feel. So let's start with on 44. So when I click and drag, you can see that it's actually lagging. You see, my cursor is already here, but the line which I'm actually drawing is still behind. That's to show you that it's trying to give you the impression that it is quite heavy. And the reason why we are getting this um, jagged line is because of our tremor, which we increased earlier, which will like kind of distort the line. So the more you increase the mass, the more heavier it will feel on your palm. You can see that this one is a bit much further because the mass is increased. So my cursor is already here, but you can see where the line is, it's still behind. So we go over to the last setting, which is break apart cut items. So for this, let me reduce my mass down to zero because that is not what I want. I would love to be able to draw freely. So and also um, let me just reduce my tremor down to zero so what this last setting does is that whenever you erase on the object and this is selected it will break those objects to be individual elements or individual parts on their own so i have this my shape selected and my eraser to selected so i kind of draw over this shape sorry let me make the line cut across just like this so once i draw like this and i select this and i go over to my pick tool can see that sorry you need to like select it before drawing so let me select my shape again then i select my eraser tool okay it's selected now then i draw across the shape so once i've drawn across the shape you can see even from the selection you can see that it's kind of break here which means that this one here is an individual shape on its own i can move it and this one down also is an individual shape i can you move it all about so that's basically all the setting about the eraser tool we talk about the three different mode of the eraser tool we talk about adjusting the width the thinning curves tremor and so on so now guys i will show you five application of the eraser tool how i apply the eraser tool in my design so let's get down to it